In this media, you will learn about habitat and adaptation. A wide variety of plants and animals survive in various parts of the earth. The surroundings of living organisms vary from one another. Deserts have a very hot climate during the day and are cold during the night. The land is covered with sand. There are plants like cactus and animals like camels surviving in such areas. Living in seas and oceans, the fishes have to survive in saline water. To survive in different areas, the animals and plants have special characteristics. Let us see the characteristics of a camel enabling it to live in deserts. A camel has very long legs which help them to walk in the sand. They have thick skin to protect them from heat and they never sweat. Camels also have a hump to store water so they can survive without water for many days. They urinate very little. Now let us see the features of a fish that survives in an aquatic region. Fish are usually a streamlined shape that helps them to swim in water. It is fully covered with scales. Respiration takes place through the gills. Tails and fins are present to help the fish change direction while swimming. These special features are present according to their surroundings. This is known as adaptation. In human beings, short time adaptation occurs. A person living in terrain region will find difficult to breathe in elevated hilly areas due to lesser availability of oxygen in air at higher elevations. But they can adapt within a few days. This is known as acclimatization. A place where a living organism has food and shelter is known as a habitat. There are two types of habitats. The two types are terrestrial habitat and aquatic habitat. Terrestrial habitats are forests, grasslands, deserts, mountains and coastal regions. Aquatic habitats are ponds, lakes, swamps, rivers and oceans. There are two important factors that contribute for living in a habitat. They are biotic and abiotic factors. Biotic factors are living things like microorganisms, plants, animals, etc. Abiotic factors are non-living things like air, water, temperature, etc. Abiotic factors play a vital role in the growth of plants. You have learned about habitat and adaptation.